Introducing these two Victory Fights warriors once again. Fighting out of the blue corner. This fighter weighed in at 51.5 kilograms. She represents the Impact Gym. She is Danica Rodman. And fighting out of the red corner. This fighter weighed in at 52 kilograms. She represents the Lumpini Gym. She is Bonnie Giorgio. The referee in charge of the action is Dan and Mova Hedy. Amateur K1, Bonnie Giorgio versus Danica Rudman about to kick off. in the blue corner, Bunny in the red. And, and what I like here is that she was going to the body as well. She didn't just go for that. She didn't go head hunting. She picked her shot to the head. Big left hook to the body. Lovely. Finish with a kick, D. Finish with a kick. Find that chip. Bunny looking very relaxed at the moment. Nice and fast. Up guts. Up guts. And then the leg. There you go. Lovely punches from Bunny. But I like that from Danica. She's not shying away. Danica throwing a lot with the legs, but not really letting her hands go. She needs to set things up a little bit. That's clinch. Both of these ladies are doing well. There just seems to be a difference between the confidence. Bunny just seems to be a lot more confident in her shots and her movement. Lovely left uppercut from Bunny. You see Bunny stalking her, walking, walking forward, lovely low kick. Now you can even see the mark on Danica's left leg already showing up off of a couple of big kicks. Lovely right hand from Danica. Pushing around strong. I'm looking for Danica to initiate a bit more and be first. For those just joining us, we have Danica in the blue corner, Bunny in the red. Lovely straight right from Danica. Picking our shots well there, Danica, at the beginning of this round two. Now you might not be able to hear this on the broadcast, but just the wind from these shots flying past. Danica looking a lot better here in round two. Put her hand together. She did, she did very well. That nice high, high guard. She's taking the shot and then countering. But the problem is when she gets backed up to the cage. And Buddy starts teeing off with her against the face. But lovely. You see Buddy smiling. Lovely straight right, right on the chin. It's a different fight this round, Danica seems to be. Absolutely. This round is night and day to that first round. She's doing a great job. You could be in and out. And now it's Bunny back up towards the wall. The thing is that my, my, my concern here is that Bunny was so confident in the first round. That, that she, she might almost be a bit too relaxed. We need a little bit more urgency, but those low kicks are really leaving a mark, though. Yeah, sure are, so Do you know what's interesting? Bunny seems to have slowed down quite significantly in this second round. Now, the thing is that Bunny's shaking her head, but we need, we need some retaliation from there. And you know how that is. When you shake your head, it means you got caught. Exactly. 
lovely flurry yeah, against the fence, but the difference between this round and the, the first round is that Danica's moving her head, she's blocking a lot more of those shots, and then she's rotating round and then landing her own lovely Superman punch. Let's go again, again. These, uh, these short rounds, they need, you need aggression, you need to fight aggressively, you need to dominate this last round and be the one going forward. Still, quick wipe up before we start okay, round three. How nice of time over here, coming in to clean up. Thanks. Who wants it more? Just e e exactly like the second round. What we're seeing a lot from Danica is she's moving just out of range of these shots and countering very, very well. Oh, odd, odd moment. Ooh, lovely teat to the face. Nice knee. Beautiful exchange of punches. And you see Danica, she chose to go to the body while Bunny chose to go up top. Just miss with the spinning back fist. Bunny has been investing really well into those right low kicks. And unfortunately, just, I don't think she has enough time for it really to take the effect that she would want. Lovely team to the body, though. Danica slow down a little bit. She can pick the pace up. There's not long left for this fight. Yeah, ab absolutely. The thing is that when a fight like this is so close, the judges are really looking for someone to put a stamp on this third round. Lovely looping left hook. Both ladies have, have slowed down just a bit. We just really want to see someone put a stamp on this round. I think Bunny's pushing the pace better this round. It might, take, it might take this round here to win the fight, so she's, she's doing the right thing. Man, to, to, to be a judge in this situation is so difficult. But in the last, coming up to the final seconds of this round, you just need someone to put a stamp on it. Do not stop throwing. Oh, lovely exchange to the end of the round. Absolutely lovely. It's almost like they could hear us and then had a beautiful exchange at the end of the round. Fantastic fight, lovely ups and downs, real big change from the first round to the third, great fight from both ladies. Ladies and gentlemen, after three fantastic rounds of kickboxing action, we go to the judges' scorecards. And we have a unanimous decision in favor of your winner. From the red corner, Bunny Giorgio. Please show your appreciation for a gallant runner-up, Danica Rudman.